Hi everyone, let's talk about the Frobenius endomorphism, which is about primes dividing binomial coefficients. In general, we're going to be looking at the scenario where a divisor d divides a binomial coefficient and choose k. This is pretty hard to tackle in general, but we're going to find some partial results in the area. So suppose n is greater than or equal to k is greater than or equal to 1, and these are both integers. Then what we can prove by the factorial expansion of this binomial coefficient is that n choose k equals to n over k times n minus 1 choose k minus 1. And you can verify this without too much difficulty. What happens next is that we divide both the numerator and the denominator of n and k by the GCD of n and k. So we get n over GCD of n and k. I'm dropping the GCD here divided by k divided by n choose k. And this is multiplied by n minus 1, k minus 1. Notice that this is equal to an integer, which is n choose k. So that means that this denominator has to divide the product of these two. But the problem is that the numerator and the denominator are co-prime, meaning GCD of n over n to n GCD of n and k and k divided by the GCD of n and k, they have a great GCD of 1. So by Gauss, by Gauss's divisibility lemma, we find that this divides this. So we can write this in the following form. We can write that n choose k is equal to n over the GCD of n and k times n minus 1 choose k minus 1 divided by k over n minus, sorry, n GCD of n and k. So this this over here is an integer, and this over here is an integer. So what that's going to mean is that, by definition, n over GCD of n and k divides n and n choose k. Now, suppose GCD of n and k is equal to 1. So n and k, the top number and the bottom number, are co-prime. Then that means that n divides n choose k. The reason being this number here is just equal to 1. And we, we can specialize this further. Like We're going to go one level deeper and say that n is equal to p for some prime p. In that case what happens is that well gcd of p and k is equal to 1 for k equals to 1, 2, all the way through to p minus 1. So what that means is that p divides p choose 1, p choose 2, all the way through to p choose p minus 1. So it's a uh, it's pretty remarkable that all these coefficients, which are all but the left and right ends of this row of Pascal's triangle, they're all divisible by the row number, which is p. And now finally, now we're going to apply this idea. We're going to apply this to the Frobenius endomorphism. The Frobenius endomorphism. This is a mouthful, but it's, it's nothing complicated. It's just the map that takes x mod p and maps it to x to the power of p mod p. So what I mean in this case in terms of the application is a property of the Frobenius endomorphism which says that if we have x plus p to the, sorry, x plus y to the power of p then 
it's equivalent to, by the binomial theorem, the sum of k equals to 0 through p of p choose k of x to the p minus k times y to the k. And what happens is that everything except the first and last terms disappear. So we just get that this is equivalent to, because they're all divisible by p and we're doing mod p. So we just get that this is x to the p plus y to the p mod p. So this is a case where something called the freshman's dream is true. Freshman's dream. You can look that up. It's essentially the idea that powers distribute over the constituent pieces. This is not true in general, but mod modulo a prime with exponent p, uh, it does work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.